Oh yeah, look at that. What kind of precision craftsmanship is this now? It's gonna be like an old-fashioned barn raising with yeah. a modern twist. Welcome to our channel. I'm Kathy and that's Rich and we are living off-grid in the Adirondacks of New York State while building a homestead from scratch on 135 acres so we can live a simpler life of freedom and sustainability. Today we are going to take all the steel, try to get it all laid out in the order that we will assemble it on top of the foundation. And we're actually going to assemble what we can on the ground so that we're ready to lift it right into place and secure it when the boom truck comes. <laughs> Perfect. That is a balancing act. Almost there. It's got a bad cup right there, see? Oh, man, oh. oh yeah, look at that. What kind of precision craftsmanship is this now? We can't be doing this while we're 20 feet in the air. Yeah, I mean, I don't care what you say. These holes are yeah, pretty far off. Yeah, there's a little piece of metal sticking out. First one's always the hardest. That'll work. Oh yeah, so that'll go there. It's better though. Oh, all right, take that. Nice. Today is day two of the steel. We only have five pieces left to move, and if we're up to it, we're, we'll assemble the scaffolding. But our neighbor is here again. I don't know what we would do without him. Where is it? Last piece of steel. Kathy was nice enough to bring all the scaffolding out for us, so now all we have to do is put it together. Whose idea was this? <laughs> Rich and I got home with the rigid insulation. It's a rigid foam that has to go around the foundation, but we have to wait to do that. The shot crate and things have to go down first, but we're gonna go unload that and we're gonna try to get the jigs made. Two inch R10, made in Canada. Oh, come on. 
were literally piled to the ceiling. All right, next is jigs. Notches. We gotta make a bunch of these. Okay. That definitely looks like a way better scaffolding. Does that feel a lot better than the other one, hon? Yeah. Thank goodness. All right. Tomorrow's the big day. Rich and I are finishing staging. Everything getting cleaned up, making sure we have all the nuts and bolts and everything we need for tomorrow. And last night we made the two, the couple of jigs, we made five like wood jigs, which will help on top. Honey, the moon is out. It's looking like tomorrow's gonna be a beautiful day. It's supposed to be partially sunny, which is good. We want clouds so we're not too hot. And it's supposed to be a high of 75. That's perfect. There's the scaffolding Rich will be standing on top of. He made a nice little step to help people get up there a little easier. There's a step over there. So exciting. We bought that scaffold. <laughs> the, the yellow uh, one is ours. Uh, hey, no, it, it's not little. It goes higher. It goes just as high uh, as this one. Compared to this one. <laughs> it's it's skinny. Right, so. Yeah, thank, no. Thank God we were able to borrow this one. Thank goodness for friends and community. Yeah. So tomorrow we're doing what? An old fashioned barn raising with a modern twist? Yeah, it'll be like a good old fashioned Amish barn raising where all the community and friends and family come together and build it, but except it's gonna be steel. <laughs> and I don't know if the women are gonna be over there preparing food and lunch and everything. Oh yeah, hell no. <laughs> and women will be working too. So. But it'll be fun. Days today. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to swing steel today. It's 6 a.m. in the morning and the foundation is behind us. The steel is all laid out ready to go. We have family and friends will start arriving around at 7 o'clock. We have some breakfast food and coffee for them and the boom truck gets here 7 38 o'clock. 7 38 o'clock so we're ready to go just uh, waiting. Gloves for everybody. So there's going to be a plate here, right? Yep. First helpers are arriving. The boom truck has arrived and we're just getting the down low with the guy that's going to operate it. What did he say? He really said that? Yeah. to do it. Yeah.
We got beans.
utility room. He is. Oh, look at how loose that was. end of the day we got all the steel up for both annexes and the main dome got two horizontal rows of rebar up and we're cleaning up because it's supposed to rain tomorrow but what a day it was started really early this morning you're right there Richie it was a fantastic day yes it was couldn't and have gone better. wow honestly it really couldn't have and look how beautiful it is right now Proper planning prevents a piss poor production. <laughs> we, did good with the we did, and that's really the key. That's really the key is just planning everything out step by step. We did all of this in like two hours. Yeah, it took two hours to swing all that steel. So from up here, the the rebar looks really nice and straight, but it looks good. We're gonna have to check these bolts. Everything looks pretty freaking straight and amazing. The floor supports we weren't sure of. We emailed him and he verified they're correct. They still look a little weird to me. I don't know. Corners. That was tough because there was nothing to go by. We did good. Ron and Ken were figuring that out. Yeah. Not bad, honey. It was a good day. Definitely a bit of a learning curve. You get it? Wah, wah, wah. Those spacers that we made, those jigs, whatever you want to call those. Awesome. They're doing a great job. Definitely helpful. So this was done with friends and family today. That was an old fashioned barn raising. I love our community. So that's it. We have our steel up. Coming next week, rebar, rebar, and more rebar. rebar. <laughs> Thanks for everybody for watching and for subscribing and for joining us. We really appreciate all your support. We'll see you on the next video.